Oh my gosh, y'all. Hot buttered chartreuse. Okay, so I want to say from the start, this is not my original idea. I got this idea from a fella named Jacob Greer. Now, if you Google Jacob Greer, spell it this way. Don't spell it this way. This guy is the one I'm talking about. This guy is a TikTok star. Jacob Greer is a local um, bon vivant, I guess. He's a fella, he's a writer, he's a bartender, he likes a cigar. He has written a couple of books, and he's very much into um, sort of unusual spirits like uh, Cachaca and Geneva and especially Akavit. He, in fact, started a thing called Aquavit Week, which is a whole celebration of Aquavit. It's a whole event that started here in Portland and is spreading around the country and the world. He's a fine fellow. He started working at a local brewery, Wayfinder Beer, Delicious Beer. He was setting up their cocktail program and a couple of Christmases ago, he came up with hot buttered chartreuse. Now this sounds delightful. Now what is hot buttered chartreuse? It is exactly the same as hot buttered rum, except instead of rum, it's chartreuse. Simple as that. So you're gonna wanna make hot buttered rum batter. Uh, it's pretty simple. There are lots of recipes for it online, but I decided that I would just go with the Smuggler's Cove version. Now, if you're not familiar with Smuggler's Cove, it's a tiki bar, one of the best tiki bars ever. Uh, it's in San Francisco. Uh, they put out this book here, and uh, it's if you like rum or tiki drinks at all, you should definitely get this book. Uh, it's got a lot of information about rum and about tiki culture in general and um, tons of good drinks. Lots of good stuff in there. So what is hot buttered rum batter? It's basically butter and brown sugar with a bunch of Christmas spices in it. So what you're going to do is melt the butter, put in the sugar and all the spices, and you're going to stir it until all the crystals of the brown sugar dissolve into the butter. So the mistake we made was using European style butter which had a higher fat content, so I guess that means the lower water content. I couldn't get the sugar to dissolve into the butter, it kept separating. Uh, thanks to Auntie Susan, uh, she had the clever idea of adding some heavy cream until it sort of all worked out, because the heavy cream will have more water than milk fat. So this basically it ends up being like a caramel or caramel or caramel? 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 Caramel. And so adding cream is perfectly fine. Now my second piece of advice is I used ground spices that were been in my cabinet for quite a while. They might have been a bit old and maybe not so flavorful anymore. Use fresh if you can, it probably tastes better. Anyway, you just stir this until uh, the butter and the sugar incorporate, you got your spices in there. And when you want to make hot buttered chartreuse, you need a couple things. You need a mug, you need your rum batter, you need chartreuse, you need hot water, and you need a spoon. Now I'm putting in just like a dollop, I'm not really measuring the rum batter, I'm putting in like a kind of a biggish dollop an ounce of chartreuse and just topping off with hot water. And I gotta tell you, it is delicious. I mean, it's winter, a nice hot drink, delicious. It's got all these Christmassy spices that just are combining with this sweet herb herbalicious chartreuse. It's rich and fatty. It's definitely for dessert, it's a pretty sweet uh, concoction. And of course, once you have your batter, you can also make hot buttered rum. Makes me wonder, you know, what else can we hot butter? Let's hot butter some more things.
Okay, conclusions. Lots of things will work here, but we found the things that worked the best had a certain amount of proof. Lower proof liqueurs didn't go so well, a little too sweet. Rum works great, of course. It's high enough proof and has a little bit of sweetness. The chartreuse is 110 proof. That's, you know, nice and high. And plus plenty of sugar for net, almost 80 proof. But my favorite, of course, tequila with a little banana liqueur for the extra sweetness. Now, that is something that you should definitely try. Try something, try something out. Put it down in the comments. Let me know what it is. Maybe I'll try it. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.